the Divas Championship matchup with Charlotte contending for the gold against Nikki Bella, whereas if Nikki Bella won, she would officially break the record of AJ Lee as the longest reigning Divas Champion in WWE history. So, uh, I, I thought the match was good. It wasn't an amazing match. It wasn't Banks and Bailey, but I, I'm, I'm not going to compare everything to NXT. I thought it was a good match. The video package was well done. AJ Lee never got anything like that when she was champion, but I digress. Good match, though. They built it up well throughout the show. They got the 10 p.m. slot. Great to see. My only complaint, and we'll get into the fact of whether Nikki should have broken the record because I know there's a lot of... I know, RJ, firsthand you can comment on the controversy that's going on online right now on Twitter. But just from the aspect of, I don't care about that right now. I just wanted to talk about how the finish, I thought, was really weak. And I know they were going to set up a rematch from Night of Champions. Every title has to be defended. I understand that. I saw that coming. Everyone saw that coming. Just the only complaint I have about the finish is that we saw the same exact thing, the same exact finish with Brie Bella pretending to be Nikki Bella with the stuffing in her boobs and everything else <laughs> at Money in the Bank three months ago. It's not like something they did three years ago. And like, oh, it's like an ode to that moment a couple years ago when she first won the title or anything like that. Or even... I don't know, like at Survivor Series when, you know, Brie made out with AJ to win the belt. It wasn't anything like that. It was something we saw three months ago. And that that in, combine, in combination with Alicia Fox getting involved caused her to get DQ'd. So Charlotte wins the match via disqualification, just not the title, setting up a rematch for Sunday. So I thought the match was good. The finish was, I thought, really stupid, but I don't really have an issue with the outcome. Um, but before we go any further, though, Seth, what were your thoughts on this matchup between Charlotte and Nikki Bella? Um, your thoughts on the finish and Nikki Bella becoming the longest reigning Divas champion in WWE history? I mean, I think you pretty much said it. It was obvious that Nikki was going to hold on to the title and that they would stay as Night of Champions. They weren't going to change that. Um, but like you said, you know, the twin magic thing is just so old and obviously now that the girls even look less alike than they did years ago during their initial run in WWE. Um, so, you know, they, they could have just had Nikki, I mean, uh, Brie or Alicia attack Charlotte, and she still would have won by disqualification um, and still could have done the same sort of setup. So the twin magic thing is kind of playing. But in general, they don't really seem to have much for Brie to do. Brie has really... Um, you know, her character doesn't really exist anymore other than to help Nikki in these ways. So, you know, I blame the booking on, on for that. So, I feel like the twin magic thing, as you said, is like their go-to move for every match they can't figure out a finish to involving the Bella Twins. It's like creative with Hornswoggle. Like if they don't, if they can't come up with a... Uh, you know, an intelligent way to finish off a feud. They will, you know, insert Hornswoggle as an illegitimate son or as the raw general manager or anything like that. That's basically what the equivalent is to the twin magic finishes in WWE. But anyway, RJ, it's time. Your thoughts on the match, your thoughts on the finish, and most importantly, your thoughts on the controversy going on online right now, specifically on Twitter, about all this uproar in regards to Nikki Bella, whether she did or did not deserve to beat the record of AJ, becoming the longest reigning Divas champion of all time. I honestly thought the match was fine. I thought the match was pretty good. And I know how you guys are saying, like, the Twin Magic, not really original, but I think it actually kind of told a story. Like, everyone thought, like, Charlotte won, then, like, got her, like, feel-good moment, and they took it away from her. So it's kind of different. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it, I think it was better than, like, just Alicia Fox jumping in and DQing quick. Like, it kind of, like, people thought, like, oh, my God, like, did the ref not see it? And then, like, it kind of had, like, feel-good moment, like, oh, my God, Charlotte won. And then, like, oh, nope. Then, like, the controversy. It was better than, like, Alicia Fox jumping in and, like, beating the shit out of Charlotte and yeah. winning. So I thought that was good. Uh, well, I just do want to say this, though. I do absolutely agree that um, the way they did it, and I think Charlotte deserves a lot of credit for this, like the crying and stuff like that when she won the belt. And the crowd bought it, too. Um, I, I thought the <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's the thing. That, that What I'm saying is that I love that. Like, that the, the bait and switch was good. Just the only fact was that when she pinned Brie to win the belt, like, we knew that we because, like I said, we just saw the same thing at Money in the Bank, so we knew that she didn't win the championship. That's the only, that's my only complaint is that we just saw it. So it's not like, oh, did Charlotte win the belt? Like, we were sitting there, like, we didn't get excited. We were just looking at each other, like, what just happened? Because we noticed she didn't win the belt. Like, I'm waiting for Stephanie to come out. Yeah, but I just knew it was better than just, like, like I said, oh, no, no, like, I agree. Fox it, jumping in, like, DQ. It was, or... it was better than the old Kane interference when he yeah. just comes right in. Disqualification. Like, yeah. 
Are you joking? <laughs> it's 2015. Be more original. But anyway, uh, continue with your thoughts. Um, I think it's good. I think Nikki Bella deserves to win the championship. Hopefully, Ooh. as long as she does. That's going to set the world it, on it's fire. It's already set the world on fire, <laughs> so I'm just going to keep going. My, my thought. I don't it's know. Right I, just think she, I think she's came far, far from where she started. Her and Bree started off, I don't know when they started, a while ago. They've come far. Bree kind of like had a little her moment of being kind of in the glory spotlight last year when Nikki was hurt. But since Nikki came back hurt, she's proved in the ring. She's proved on the mic. She's had good matches with people. It's not like the Divas Division has a ton of good wrestlers as to begin with. It's like pretty much Paige and I guess Naomi when she was champion. Cause, uh, like Charlotte, Becky, AJ. AJ, and Sasha weren't even called up yet. So pretty much it was the lowest of low besides Paige. And she's just, I don't know, I just think she's been a good champion. I'm not going to, like, I think she's earned it. People saying, like, oh, my God, she's earned earn it. Like, AJ Lee was way better and, like, all this other stuff. And, like, that Charlotte's better than Nikki Bella because she's more popular than Nikki Bella is. And all this bullshit <laughs> that I adore this whole day. Worst argument ever. How someone was trying to say that Nikki Bella was not as good as Charlotte because Charlotte is gets cheered more and is mo- more people like her. That makes no <laughs> sense. Just because people like her more doesn't make her better. I Just because people like her more than Charlotte doesn't mean, like, sh- oh my god, so annoying. Like, okay, sh- a lot of people like Charlotte, but I still think Emma's better than Charlotte. I still think Sasha Banks is better than Charlotte. You make a great point. Emma, Emma comes is out. better than, better wrestler than Charlotte is. Emma comes out, no reaction, because she's never on TV. Yeah. Does that mean she sucks? Exactly. Is she it, awful? It was just, I just... Emma is a lot better wrestler than Charlotte. As Charlotte got to where she is now, she did improve in NXT, but she would not have got called up as soon as she did or win the NXT Divas Championship if she was not Ric Flair's daughter. That is 100% true, and I can't stand the whole woo and the do it with Flair shtick. Like, it's so bad. They got a turner. And when they showed Flair last night, he was, like, hammered off his ass, like, doing some <laughs> stupid promo. No surprise there. And they there. both did the woo and do it with Flair and the vomit in the in the trash can. Charlotte is not as good as people think she is. She's decent, but there's a lot of people better on the WWE roster than she is. The thing is, is that... I couldn't care less whether she broke the record or not. She has come a long way. Very well established. I am no Bell Twins fan. Very well established. You know better that you know that better than anyone else, RJ. But my argument is this, is that the title is irrelevant anyway. Like when was the last time that, that championship really meant something. Even when AJ had it, it didn't mean anything. Because the Divas division has been in the shitter she for fought like, like Cameron thought. during a pay per view match. And it was a <laughs> Terrible match. Yeah, exactly. It was awful. Oh, my God. We, the, the Divas division, the whole Divas revolution now is, is getting better. Like I said, there, we have more stories. We have great wrestlers on the roster now, or at least more than we did before. That title is trash. I don't care who has the longest record. I don't care who has the shortest record. It doesn't matter. My only, my only, I'll just say this. Hashtag bring back the women's title. That's it. That's all I'm going to say because the Divas Championship is garbage. The butterfly belt is just stupid. It's just the whole term Divas is so outdated. You know, it's like comparing, it's like 70s or something like that, you know. It just it just gives them a negative connotation that when you should just be calling them women. Bring back Emma. Bring back Emma? How about you bring back Emma as the women's champion? Seriously. Hashtag book it, baby. Book that Emma is women's champion. Hashtag emulation. Emolution? I think it's emolution. 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 Emolution greater than Divas Revolution. Yes. 